Just one week ago, Shelby Park looked more like a lake than a neighborhood after one of the city's biggest and oldest pipes burst. Thanks for staying with us here at 430. I'm Derek Rose in for Rachel. And in the days since Louisville, in the days since Louisville Water has worked around the clock to clean up the mess and get things back to normal. The company says the new pipes are installed and should be running by the end of the week. Full restoration of the neighborhood like sidewalk and road repairs may need to continue after the holidays. There are a lot of unsung heroes behind the efforts and our Sarah Wagner got to meet one of them today. Sarah, he is quite the character. We sure did, and he really is a character, Derek. It's no secret that people who often deserve the most credit in life don't want it. And that's certainly the case here. But we wanted to introduce you to just one of the many individuals who made last Tuesday a lot less worse than it could have been. Life in Shelby Park these days is a series of detours. This is the biggest thing that ever happened here. Still, the talk of the town after a massive water main break flooded the historic neighborhood. Oh, you never know what you missed until the well runs dry. No true or saying. <laughs> it's easy to see what this break broke, but this is a story about the dedication it took to stop it. It was a pretty crazy day. And the team we have to thank. Everybody wanting to get in it, everybody wanting to get away from it, everybody wanting to see it. It's just pretty chaotic. That's Joe Lukey. It's just a river in the middle of the city. <laughs> He's worked for Louisville Water for 22 years and belongs to the emergency Turner department. There's 14 of us and we work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's always someone on the street. Last Tuesday, six of them got the test of a lifetime. You just can't flip a switch. You know, if it was that easy, it would, you know, none of us would be here. But they were. If it was 62 gates all together to turn this, to turn this main off. Each one taking a few hundred spins and about 1,500 pounds of pressure to seal shut. So this was last Tuesday, this is what you were doing? Yeah, except for a lot faster. To give you an idea of that force, this one is moving with about 150 pounds of pressure. You're trying to hurry up, but at the same time you're trying to be safe and you got to watch your traffic, people blowing the horn at you, people hollering get out of the road, people hollering turn the water off. Rest assured, that frustration was mutual, but the commitment to stopping it stayed strong. Yeah, it's just, it's just what we do. I mean, you know, some days are better than others. Safe to say that day will be one they won't soon forget, but one they also hope to not have again. Though we're yet, for sure. And Joe wanted us to make sure we give credit to his entire team of guys from last Tuesday. So here's a special shout out to Charlie, Willie, Nick, Brent, Adam, and Bo. Thank you for all of your hard work and dedication to this city. And we do want to pass along this note. If you had any damage to your house or car from that water main break, Louisville Water recommends you reach out to your insurance first for a faster response and then call the company if you need any additional help. Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News. All right.